weirdly hard to see. Ha! Mm. Whoo! Nick of time, that. Prenuptial agreement? We, the undersigned Irish Bill Witz and Ogierd von Everick, have agreed to seal our love in a marital marital contract and bind ourselves to certain covenants. Let this document stand as an oath before the gods and all that we hold holy that till death do us part. We shall treat one another with mutual respect and give due hearing to each other's requests and opinions. If separation shall come, we shall each retain all property, both movable and immovable, which we brought into the marriage, and additionally shall keep any presents given by the other during the duration of the marriage. The income which each receives shall he shall spend as he or she sees fit with all costs related to the maintenance and upkeep of mutual possessions being divided equally between all parties. Huh. Strange. Beer tankard, but there was vodka in it. Drained to the last drop. Okay. So he's drinking. So that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. And he. Her contract. father must have been holding the contract. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed, that you shall heed her counsel and requests, and. Get to the point, father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. You vow to remain with me till death do us part. And I have held to my vow. The old gear I married is the no more. Red Holster. <laughs> Cursed Sotex spawn. Suck Sotex. Can't stay, but just Believe say and hi. Hey, W says SM dude. Thanks so much for the six months. Forever. Enough. You will not command us. You will. Holy shit. Build your father-in-law, dude. Servants, take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. Yeah, boy. Come on. Ow. Then Von Everick ceased to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No. He merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. I was gonna say, I don't, I don't think you get to put that under the love clause. Dude looks like he's fucking up pretty hard right now. WSM dude, thank you again so much for the six months, dude. Hope you're doing well. Really appreciate you coming by. <sighs> Slowly chasing that thing down. Hey, the caretaker. I remember. We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places, the same as then. You do the rest. Animal hair. So he trapped her in here? Claw scratches. Soup, maybe. Single place setting. No others on the table. Hmm. Something's not right. Probably not right. Huh? Hmm. Something's not right. Oh, no, no. It's for the cat. There we go. And the big bowl for the dog. A large clay bowl. I think this was yours. 
and this is for the lady. Letter. Hmm. Perfect match. You actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you, care for the house, no matter what happens. Before I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours, I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Ogird. I want you out of my sight. Ogird von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. Hmm. Okay. Dearest wife, letters from Old Geard to Iris, for I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy void grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you with her. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in hell, and remember but the good times, Old Geard. So he abandoned her. I guess thinking he was sparing her somehow. Alright, what the fuck is this thing? Ugh. Oh, there's more than one. They're all old geards. Wow, those are horrifying. What's up, boys? Ah, shit. I guess we have to beat all of them. Oh, they vomit. Delightful. Specters, I guess. Um, Oxology, give me that's Griffin. You wonder the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. Oh no, not two at the same time, please. Ah, fuck! That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, witchy. Oh, the 
sound is so eerie and weird. I don't think I can block him when he goes invisible. Yeah, you have fun burning over there. Ah, ah, I messed that up. Oh, I can't parry it. You wonder the delusion. Okie dokie. Interesting fight. How do you fight them all at the same time? If you bop them, would they activate? There she is. Hello, my dear. You're not him. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. All right, so we got through to her. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Orgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Hmm. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. Oh, so if you if you attack them, they essentially like wake up. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep only now have I awoken just like my beautiful rose when you placed the sketchbook on my grave I remembered learning to draw my husband's face tell me how is old kid healthy does he fare well um he's in trouble your husband's got a powerful enemy, Gontaro Dim. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Who is he, and how'd he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Whoa, what? Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? 
Oh, yikes. So... So he summoned Odim to give them both wealth and immortality. But I guess he worded it really badly or Dim just lied to him. So only he is immortal. His wife definitely isn't. So this, okay, this has to be the same woman who was going to be promised to the, the frog prince, I'm guessing. Your husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate because at heart he's unhappy. At heart he is stone. So nothing has changed. And did... Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much. But I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift. feeling the rose is important to you more than a memento I remember so little yet when I think of my rose I begin to recall what was the world around me turns real and I my eyes open wide and I recognize things remember who I am and who I was a friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They are what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest. If I take the rose, you might cease to exist. As might the world you built around you. Honestly, that seems like a good thing. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until... There is nothing at all. That's interesting that the optional dialogue opened up a second choice. Like it hid it from us until we, I mean, hey girl, I feel this, I fear the same goddamn thing. That is like my greatest fear. Hmm. But I feel like leaving her here is just horrible. Like she needs to be put to rest. And as long as she's here, those two animal spirits are, they're, well, they're not animals, but whatever the hell they are, they're bound here. They're trapped. I really want to see what two does. 
I really, really, really want to see what two does. I can't take the rose. Is it not what you came for? Yeah, I knew they'd be pissed. Can't force Iris into oblivion. She thinks and feels still, and she's no danger to anyone but intruders. Look at her. Look at her world. She's doomed to relive the painful past eternally. Take the rose. Show her mercy. What should I do? What do you want me to do? I do not know what I want. I'm so very, very afraid. You too. You want me to take the rose, trying to convince me. Why? We want to help Iris von Everick. And you. Ha! Generous demons? I don't buy it. Because you are demons, right? You were to serve Iris until the end of her days, and didn't come with her death, so you were sentenced to stay in the world of her torment for all time. Can't break the contract yourselves, so you need me to do it for you. If I take the rose, Iris will cease to exist, but you'll also be freed. You're right. But are we wrong to want that? Our intentions are pure. We're but bit players in this tragedy. A performance has gone on too long. We can't help the mistress, and her fate no longer moves us. Can we be blamed for simply wanting to leave the stage? Now, I'm so, I, I want to see where this thread goes. I, I have to see where this thread goes. I won't decide your fate. I can't accept the rose. Will you leave empty-handed? What about your task? Rose stays with Iris. So that is how it's to be. Perhaps in the years to come, another will appear to free us. I don't know that you've chosen wisely. And though I feel no gratitude, I'll not send you away empty-handed. Look, the petal edges darken. The flower closes and I am overcome with sleep. Good night, stranger. You must leave. The rose awaits outside this world while I... I descend once more into my dream of what was. Oh, good. I wish to be with Olgid, to gaze into those eyes, eyes the devil would be proud to have. Farewell. I expected the demons to attack me. changed. Got the violet rose there now. And Iris, ready to see her husband again. Bro, just take the whole painting. What are you doing? off and roll it up all right
is what I'm gonna do. I want to, I'm gonna create a hard save. Because I don't, I wanted to see where that, I really wanted to see where that would go. But I don't like that. I much prefer putting her, like, um, like putting her to rest. I wanted to see where that would go because I was curious if he would kind of like, if it would like finagle it out, like if she would give it to us willingly. But I. I would prefer to go with the other option. I don't know which one of these is the right one. Like, I wanted to see where that thread led to, but I'm not, I don't, I am not going to continue with that thread because I think the other one, I think the other one is better. Oh, hey, boys. The Witcher shall soon be buried. Uh, well, I guess we can try fighting all of them at once. Why not? Um, reflect damage, crit chance. Uh, just just give me just give me Griffin. You can't can't go wrong with Griffin. The sky's weak. Carol, I'm gonna need you to attack who I want you to attack, sir. Two more. Oh my god, dude. Come on. You want to do the delusion? There we go. It's getting them all activated is a huge pain in the ass. Alright. Alright, ladies. Death holds no surprises. Immune to poison. You wonder the delusion you don't complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. He's immune to freezing. Great. Goodbye, Geralt. Upsetty spaghetti that time. You wonder the delusion you'll complete your tasks. 